Hey, Carl here with Columbia Water Gardens. And today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to put a belt strap on a boulder. Now, the reason why I like belt straps is because with the belt strap, you eliminate those pinch points that sometimes you fight in order to get the belt out from underneath the boulder. With the belt strap, there's no part of the belt that is actually touching the bottom of the, of the boulder. And the, the more you lift on it, the more it cradles, the more it cinches in, and the more it holds. Now, there are three things that you've got to do with this when you're putting it together. So come on over here. Number one, I'm going to use a traditional toe strap. This is a 20 foot toe strap. Uh, you can get it at pretty much any old hardware store, Harbor Freight, Tractor Supply, whatever. And you're going to use two D-rings. The first D-ring is to be attached on the side over here. And the second one is your insurance policy at the top. So those are your parts. 20 foot belt strap, or excuse me, 20 foot um, toe strap, two D-rings. Now the assembly goes together like this. Hold on just a second, let me get a spare strap. <laughs> so right now I'm with uh, Harley Calpi, uh, Calpi Custom Landscape in New Mexico. I travel the country building extreme water features with other contractors. And today is, I think, day number nine of 10, and I get to go home. So here's your, here's your uh, toe strap. You're gonna put that toe strap through one of the loops, okay? Pretty simple. This is why I call it the belt, because when you take it and you go together like this, and you cinch it together, you've got a belt, okay? You see that? Now the belt strap can go on like this. Let's say that I want a belt strap this guy right here. You're gonna find the center of the boulder. So every rock has a center of gravity that goes vertical and horizontal. And what we wanna do is we wanna have this belt slightly higher than the, ver than the horizontal, but dead on center on the vertical. So you got two axes. So we would take this, now this is off center. You see how it's off center? We want to take that, scoot it over, get it to the center of gravity for the boulder. Now the next step is, is on the other side. Come on over here. We're going to take one of our D-rings and you see if you look really up close, you can see one side is threaded and the other side's not threaded. We're going to put the threaded side in, why? like so. And the reason why you put the threaded side in is because when you take the other side of your loop that's now free, and it goes over, and we take our pin, now it's easy for you to get access to put your pin. And undo it? And undo it. Now remember at the beginning, when I first started explaining this process here, the, the tighter it gets, the tighter it gets, okay, the more it holds. And that's why you would put a second D-ring right over here. So you put your second D-ring here, and you're ready to go. You're ready to lift. The harder this, the more the rock weighs, the stronger the belt strap grabs. And taking it off is simple. You'll never get this thing pinched underneath the rock. It cradles it, it holds it, it's safe and secure. Let me show you this one over here we got started and I'm gonna show you what can go wrong with one. Now, if you notice right over here, the center of gravity is supposed to run straight along the side of the rock. You see that? You got the same amount of mass here as you have over here. So this is your center of gravity right down the center. But you see that this D-ring is off center. So what's gonna happen when he goes to lift it, it's gonna wanna fall over. Justin, go ahead and take it off the ground about three inches. This is a heavy rock. This is probably about eight, 900 pounds, I'm guessing. Go ahead. See it's falling, you see it falling? Bring it back over, roll it back over, Justin. All right, oh! We got a problem. 
Bring it up and spin it, set it against this dirt pile. All right, we got it. Come down. Now, watch what happens. By taking this and adjusting it right over here to the center of gravity, and that was, that was like a real problem. I knew that was gonna happen, but holy cow. All right, Justin, go ahead and bring it on up. Now, hold on, hold on. The secret also with this is, you see I got one hand on the strap? I'm pulling the tension up on this, and I'm waiting for him to slowly take it off the ground. Once it comes off the ground, then I can release. And I'll explain why in a second. Go ahead, Justin. There it is. Give you up, cowboy. Hold it. Now. Come on over here. I'm going to recap this uh, the assembly in this one more time. Can you swing it over just a wee bit? That's good. Thank you. So you start with the loop and you run your strap through the loop. You find the center of gravity in your rock. You pull that tight. Then you go up and over the top of your rock to the other side of your center of gravity and you attach it to your D-ring. Then the other top goes up and you slide it through and your D-ring on top. With a couple of times of practice, you're gonna find that this is gonna be probably one of your most favorite go-to uh, strapping methods. Last thing we wanna do with any boulder before we go and let go, uh, go anywhere with this, you just wanna give it a quick test, make sure it's nice and secure. And it is. Um, so that's belt strapping. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens and I just want to talk to you about two things. One, if you're new to my channel, if you like the things that I'm teaching you here, if you, if you learn something, a simple way of saying thank you is just subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate my subscribers. And if you have a question about this, and I know that there are going to be some pond contractors that are going to see this method and they're going to ask questions, I want you to know that I answer 100% of every single comment that is left on my YouTube channel. So. You're gonna get an interaction with me, and if you even want to talk to me, I'll get you. I'll get you my cell phone number, and we'll talk while I'm out on the road. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens. I'm here to remind you that belt strapping that really matters.